Hey YouTube, um, this is my latest unboxing uh, video of the FMS 1500mm uh, P47 Razorback. They just come out with this bird and well actually it, it come out uh, I think back in November of 2016. Um, uh, I love P47s, it's always been one of my absolute favorite planes and I've always loved this scheme and whenever FMS did this I was like, okay, this instantly goes on my list of must-haves. So, um, I also recently sold my Hangar 9 P4760 Razorback. Uh, I've kind of gotten out of the boss of birds. I'm really, really liking these FMS 1400 and this new 1500 millimeter size planes are easy to, to carry and haul back and forth to the field. Uh, I love the power of them. A lot of guys think they fly slow. I think they fly fantastic. So um, I'm, I really like them and I love the scale looks of them. So um, anyway, I'm gonna jump right in here on this. Um, this is the box and this is what it looks like on the box. Now I have taken this out because I haven't looked at it, but I have taken it out of the box and got it sitting on top of the actual plane, which is the styrofoam underneath it. But a uh, very attractive box. This is what it looks like. Everything on the side. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, typical FMS box, but um, really looking forward to this one. So let's get going in here. So let's move this out. Let's see. All right, there she is. And let's take a look. Man, this thing does look sweet. Paint job looks awesome on it. So let's get started and see what we can see here. Put tape on all over this stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Props, uh, spinner. Yeah. Uh, I did watch the build video. I'm not going to do a build video. I'm just going to do an, unbo an unboxing video on this one. Uh, if you guys want to see a good build video, check out Motion RCs. They they do an awesome one. Um, but uh, I've yet to see an unboxing where it's actually still in the box. So this is it. And as I go, I might do some more things that I've not seen covered anywhere else on the videos as well. So, but let's continue to dive on in here. Let's get this out of the way. There's one wing. This is, FMS really packages their planes good too, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Get this out. There we go. And there. Now we can actually get in here and see the goodies. Um, here's the bottom of the wing. Uh, for you guys that have the P40, this is going to be very similar. I can already tell uh, the, they use the same ball link style hinges. And also I can see where they've they've done um, the new hinges on the ailerons and the flaps as well. So very, very nice. These FMS planes just keep getting better and better. So top of the wing. Right away, uh, I can tell that this is a different kind of EPO foam. I've been reading in the forums about the guys using different, that, that have this plane, talking about the different EPO foams. Um, it does feel softer. I can kind of see why maybe it might ding a little bit easier, but I've got something that I hopefully is going to help with that. Um, let's get over here. This is one area that some guys have been having some issues with and some haven't. This is the new multi-port connector that they're using that slides on and it's very little this is all plastic um essentially what the guys are saying is in flight or at least not all of them but some of them and i can see the problem area with this um this plane slides or this wing slides in like so and your wing bolts right there's one there's the other. These only go down about halfway. So basically, as your wing's in the fuselage, and this thing starts doing that, moving around, and it will, 
um, it's doing that. What's happening is when that wing rocks around, it's pulling these loose. So um, one thing that I was talking to some guys on uh, on the forums about is some are leaving this on and on the fuselage side, I don't know if you can see, but there's one, two, three, and four. They're removing these screws on the fuse side. And let me see if I can show you that. There they are. There's, you can see the screws in the corner and they're allowing this to kind of pop out a little bit once you move those screws and it kind of, it, it's not held in place at that point. And so it, you can still use this and leave it plugged in on the wings. And so whenever the wing flexes, what it's going to do is it's not going to pull loose and that's solving some, solving some uh, issues, I think, from what I gather. So um, I'm going to try. I'm going to fly it stock like it is and see if I have any issues. Um, hopefully, uh, if it does, it happen on the ground. There's, uh, when it goes out, I mean, obviously, if you lose connections, you're going to lose your ailerons, your retracts, your flaps, you know, your, your basic control surfaces there on the wing, which is not good. It could lead to a crash. So hopefully, I'm not going to have that problem. Uh, if I do, I'll definitely be doing that because I really like this idea of using these pins and stuff. It seems like a great idea. But back to the foam, um, definitely can tell this is a softer foam. Looks at this wing over here. And let's get down to the nitty gritty, the business end of this plane. All right, bear with me here while I try to get this thing out with one hand. And this thing is really packed in there good. Wow, there's a fuselage. Um, one thing I can tell about this fuse already is it's definitely light. This EPO foam is lighter. Looking at the surface detail. Um, honestly, I kind of wish that it didn't kind of have quite so much alligator skin on it, to be honest. But, I mean, I guess that's just a trade-off, but... Nice plastic cow ring up here. That's nice. Well, the pot, the uh, cockpit details look amazing. Definitely, definitely a good looking bird. Um, coming back through here and give, kind of letting you guys see the difference in the foam and stuff. This is all uh, paint on here. This is not. This is not decals. Now these numbers are are decals. This is decals, and this is decals. Obviously, all the black. All of this is actual paint. That's not a decal. So if you guys are wondering about that, there you go. The uh, scoop on the bottom, that's plastic. But where this new EPO foam might start showing some disadvantages are around these sharp edges. Um, you can kind of already start pushing in. I can see those getting beamed and dinged up pretty bad. It would have been nice um, if they would have put a plastic cover, kind of like the P40. Let me show you guys that. On the P40, the uh, this corner right here, I don't know if you can see in the video, this corner is plastic right here. And it does that. So mm -hmm. it would have been awesome if they would have maybe have done that somehow. But I mean, you know, I, I mean, that's just something little for me. But uh, hopefully that might be something to address in the future. I don't know. It's not definitely not a deal breaker. Nothing on this planet I've seen so far as a deal breaker. But but the scale details are amazing. And if you guys don't have it or uh, have this plane and you're looking at it, I I can already tell this is going to be a winner. Here's the motor. I don't know if you can see in there. I can't remember the exact motor size. You can go online and find the specs of it. But that's it. That's what she looks like inside I want to see I'm really curious to see if the inside of this thing is done like some of the other guys yeah it already has I can tell um, not a big deal the ESC which normally is glued to the side has come loose and I've got some uh, foam tack I'm gonna put on that and stick it back to the side 
EC5, fantastic. That's what I use already. Um, very nice with the wires here too. Sequencer, multi-port connector. Everything seems to look good. I'm planning on flying this. On, I really like these Wild Scorpion packs. They're about the same size as the 5,000 packs that I also have. I've got about five or six of these, so I'm going to be flying it on these. Yeah, there is a lot of room. I don't know if I might have to turn them up. Maybe like that. I don't think they'll go like that. Maybe like that. I'll have to just play around with it when I get to that point. But I might have to do a little phone carving, which is not a big deal. But let's take a look at the bombs. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Kind of interesting. One bomb has got stuff on it, one doesn't. Looks like we got a normal bomb. I might have to take those bombs off. Now somebody told me that these bombs here can actually come off of these mounts. If so, that would be awesome because I might take these off and paint them a uh, olive drab color. I think they look better than silver. But I am kind of interested to see why this bomb was wrapped and this one is completely off. Hmm. I'm not real sure about that, but yeah, honestly, the bombs do come off. I don't know if it was put in the box like that, maybe. Let's see what we got here. Well, looks like we might have a little damage here. There's the bomb. There's a pile on it. Looks like it's come off. I don't know if it can't get my fingers down. I'll have to get some needle nose and get it out. Looks like it's come off. It's got two little uh, spike things that actually go down and puncture the foam, which is not a big deal yeah i can see the holes so yeah that that can come off uh actually that's kind of handy actually i might take them I might, since these bombs come i might take those off uh shoot the whole bomb with some uh olive drab and then just glue those back on with some foam tag so not a big deal i'm not going to fuss about that drop tank wing spars Heavy duty looking wing spars, typical FMS wing spar for the horizontal stabilizer, drop tank, drop tank looks to be very good quality, uh, I'm not going to get go through every single individual part because once you've seen one FMS plane you've seen them all. Here is the actual horizontal stabilizer. Very nice. Very, very nice. A little bit of dent right there, but again, it's on the bottom. Stuff like that doesn't bother me a whole lot. Um, manual. I'm curious to see the new FMS manuals. They look different. They do look different. They actually look like the E-flight manuals, which doesn't surprise me now that FMS makes a lot of the E-flight stuff. And they are a Horizon Hobby distributor. Let's see. Here's the other horizontal stab. Boy, there is no parts of this thing whatsoever. I can see why the guys are in the forums are talking about how fast it's going to go together. But uh, essentially, that's it. There is another wing down there, but it's the same as the other wing. I'll get it out and make sure there's no damage to it. But... That is it. Very small uh, parts content on this one. So it ought to really go together quick. I do really like this um, elevator setup right here with the linkage. That way you only have one servo controlling that. And the servos are your typical, I don't know if you guys can see that, are the FMS 3104s. Seem like it's a pretty good servo. I've got them in the p40 and they do fine i think they're if i'm not mistaken i think they're in the 109 too but we'll see um for the plane to give it a little tough i am going to go over the entire plane with uh some minwax polycrylic I, i've done this on a few of these fms planes now and it seems to work fantastic um 
I use this right here on them. Um, you can get this in a spray paint as well. Uh, I'm assuming it works fine, but I just use those and a little sponge brush, shake it up good, and just coat the plane. And it, it does take a while to dry thoroughly. I put the first coat on. I'll probably go ahead and coat this whole thing tonight, let it dry. Do another coat tomorrow, let it dry. I'll probably put three coats on this thing. I've done that to my P40 and the 109. I read about it online somewhere, and I think it really does work. I think it also helps with the uh, the sun damage that these things can get. That it just any kind of protection on this phone to keep it from denting and dinging real bad will definitely help, especially with this newer phone. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of this newer phone. I like the old phone pretty good. Um, the finish on this looks great. Like I said, there is some alligator skin on it, but. That does show maybe a little bit more than the 109 and the P40, but overall, the uh, the detail on this one is is nice, and it, it's a definitely a lighter phone. So, gonna be inter really interesting to see how this one holds up long term. So, hopefully, it does good. If not, then we'll strip it and repaint it. But um, there's your unboxing. I thought this thing had. I think I saw something over here a second ago. Yeah, there is some more goodies in here. We got here. Oh, these are the wing cannons. I'll be honest, I'm probably not even going to really put these on or use them. Um, they are nice though. I will. The typical FMS, they slide on. Well, they look kind of beat up in some areas, but again, I'm not really going to use them. I'm not really worried about that. Here's the other one. Again, this will look kind of beat up too, but. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping seeing stuff like this right here and right there. I'm I, I'm hoping this is unusual for this plane. I'm not real sure. Um, uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, I'm hoping this foam is not. And if this happened in shipping, then after like a week, this plane is going to be. <laughs> it's going to look terrible. I'm hoping that's just uh, maybe a defect or something, but. Honestly, it's a lot of this stuff I'm not even gonna worry about. I got this at Motion RC. I really like these guys, and so I'm just gonna build it and fly it. So that's the beauty of these FMS planes to me compared to the old Balsa stuff that I used to have. It just this is worry-free flying for me. Um, I can put these up and fly, and I don't see dollar signs as like I do. It's much easier to fly a $350 plane than it is to fly a $800 plane of around the same size by the time I had motor and all my own stuff. But anyway, uh, that's it. I hope you guys like it and feel free to shoot me any questions you have. If there's another area you want to see in particular, be glad to get some pictures. Uh, there's a huge, uh, well, it's not huge. There's a, a forum, uh, a whole thread on this on RC groups. It's the FMS, uh, 1500 millimeter P47 Razorback. A lot of guys love this plane. Set flies fantastic. I love the looks of it. Love the scheme. And so I'm really, really excited about getting this one. It looks like it's going to be a fast build. Uh, so yeah, check it out on the forum if you're interested in it. And uh, my screen name on there is ncflyer79. And feel free to shoot me some messages on there as well if you if you find me and you got some, some things about it. So, But uh, thanks for your interest and let me know what you guys think. See you later.